You will be seeing the amendments. Yes, sir. This is a package of amendments, approximately seven of them. I'm going to go through them uh, briefly here on your screen. I did email them out to you. Hopefully you have some time to look at them. Again, amendment one for this uh, clarifies a few definitions, um, specifically a parent track and when the date and definitions combined to it. We deal with nonconformities and the types of variances um, that are allowed to be prepared by the Board of uh, Zoning Board of Appeals. And you'll note here in 902 B2, uh, we, we say that no setback can be reduced to less than eight feet, which should not be a consideration. You cannot increase the total number of lots on a cul de sac, which is outlined in chapter four and six. This is a 24 lot rule. Uh, and then reductions in lot area, so if a property has to be a certain size, you can't go less than eight percent of that size. Um, that's kind of amendment one, and again, amendment, uh, the administrative waiver there, which is something staff can do with the county manager's approval up to 20%. Again, no less than an eight foot side yard setback or anything like that. Amendment two, this is one uh, dealing with kind of what we're talking about tonight. Currently the process requires planning commission to hear proposed text amendments through the official public hearing process. It is a recommendation that this step be removed. Planning commission members will still be involved in the amendment process. They will be treated the same as our stakeholder members, like the uh, you see on the title page there. Uh, the ZBOA, the Chamber of Home Builders Development Authority, and many other concerned stakeholders, they will be have an opportunity to reply with comments and feedback to us. Uh, this just allows us to make minor amendments that you'll see a little bit later and move forward a little bit faster uh, to help the community move forward. Again, Amendment 3 here is duplicate definitions. There are things in our appendix that deal with land disturbance that were duplicated in Chapter 1, but they are not referenced within the ULD itself and are therefore only referenced in Appendix A. Staff felt it more appropriate to remove them from uh, chapter 1 to avoid any confusion. Chapter 4 has three options underneath it. This is regarding signage related to medical marijuana. You'll notice that option 1 says we will regulate it in a more positive manner. They say you can only have certain things. Number 2 says we will not allow them. And number 3 is a, at this time, do not proceed uh, to change any amendments. So those are kind of three options there that we are presenting to the Board of Commissioners later on. Amendment 5, again, bold versus capital. Uh, it's just the formatting, formality really, in legal terms. Uh, number 6 literally changes references to ZBA to ZBOA. Uh, number 7, and this one has a little asterisk by it, pending county leadership consideration. International Fire Code talks about the radius of 96 feet, which has been adopted. Engineering staff is recommending 100 feet just to help with overall design. So you see how it potentially play out here. Yeah, with Amendment 7. Uh, again, International Fire Code is a 96 staff is recommending just 100 for ease of, ease of design purposes. Uh, the one we talked about during our work session was a utility connection. This is, again, not been fully vetted yet. Staff doesn't have a 100% recommendation on this one. Uh, so we'll be following up with an email to you all for consideration. Uh, just want to present that to you. So, With that being said, staff is recommending approval of the text amendment package as presented tonight. Thank you, J.D. Do you any questions? Yeah, just, J.D., if you don't mind, would you go back to the first page there that you presented? Amendment uh, 1? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so just for clarity on the number 1 where it says computed average, the computed average below shall not result in setbacks of less than 8 feet or compromise. Just for clarity, is that front, rear, or side? Usually these are side or lot. Okay. And, and that's what I think I didn't know that, that needed to be in printed form or not, of course, it don't matter, but I just, just saw that. And I know down a little bit further, you can stay signed on setbacks. I'm just curious. And uh, as far as the cold sack goes, it is, is, is it pretty typical for all cold sacks now to be at that 96 foot radius? I mean, most of them now going forward, yes. It's going forward. Going forward. Yeah. We've had a few that were designed to the 80 now, increasing up to the 96 as adopted. And then again, staff's recommendation just up to 100 for recent design purposes. We know of a few pending subdivisions that are in design phase, and staff would like to uh, just make it uniform across the board. Absolutely. And one final thing, did you have the opportunity to uh, investigate that uh, water sewer connection thing that I talked to you about last week? The water sewer is still an ongoing discussion among staff. Okay. Um, and, and that's why again, we kind of pulled it from our work session to kind of see what other things are out there, like the, like the legislation that passed. Okay. Uh, to see. So that's, that's been on our radar. Okay. 
That's, that's all that is, Jim. I keep it clear. <clears throat> what was the maximum number of lots you could have on that cold sack thing? Uh, 24. 24. Yeah. 24 on this cold sack closet. Which I think is like 13 foot of frontage per lot without a road coming into it, basically. That's a lot. That is a lot. When you put it like that. Well, you couldn't. I mean, it's basically impossible to do that. But there's a maximum of four lots on the cul de sac. No, 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 does that answer your question, please, Mel? Yeah, it does. Okay. Absolutely. No other questions for staff on this? Then I will open the public hearing portion of this matter. If there's anyone here this evening that would like to comment positively on these amendments, please step forward. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to negatively comment on these amendments? So please come forward at this time. Seeing no one that will close the public hearing portion of this matter. Uh, commissioners, I just say, I've discussed these with JD earlier today. We can, I suggest, unless someone has any changes in any of the amendments, that we approve these seven amendments as a package. If that's okay with whoever makes the motion. So at this time I will seek a motion on these amendments. Mr. Chairman, I have a question. Will this be the last time that we actually will make a motion to approve going forward? You no longer are requesting for a planning commission to approve. That is, yes, that is. So this would be the last one. Amendment two will cover that. Right. Please ask that for approval. No, I, I was just confirming that. In, in an official meeting like this, yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, again, okay. written word or spoken word or meeting with staff as part of a stakeholder group, absolutely, will still be, okay. still be welcome. By all, members. Okay. all right, I will seek a motion on this matter. Um, my suggestion is uh, as a package of seven amendments. I got one more question for staff, if you don't mind. So, James, I want to be clear on this eight foot sign on setback. If a subdivision is established and they're going to the next phase and they have six foot side yard setbacks, so that's does that go to that grandfather them in or are they on the new standard going forward? That is an excellent question. Um, we do know we have some older subdivisions in plan developments, meeting site plans, the, the site plan overrules. Uh, generally, this is allowed for new subdivisions, but we can clarify that at that point about if they were approved at six foot previously, would they be allowed to continue in that new phase? That would be a point. Most, most of the ones that are already less than that are PDs, so the site plan is binding. Mm -hmm. uh, when we get a request, Typically for new subdivisions, R10 standards is the lowest we go. 10 yard side foot setbacks, 1% gives us to 8. Some people want to request even further. They would have to go through a full variance. We're saying, sorry, that's not allowed. You can't even ask for that anymore. You should have done it on the front end. It was a little more, a little more burden on the developers on the front end to better plan the subdivision out. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is mainly coming from Life Safety Code, again, having firefighters trying to fight in a tight space. Would that still allow a zero lot line where they're staggered to one side of the property line? Under a plan development, yes. Okay. Again, plan development go before TRC, planning commission, and the board of commissioners for final approval. So, board of commissioners would have final say on that. So, if that's something you hear something about from the firefighters at two foot, it makes a huge difference. When, when you're stacking up firefighters trying to potentially get in there, anything like that. Any obstruction can, can be a hindrance to them when they're pulling hose, when they're moving a ladder, if they're fighting obstruction with HVAC equipment or other uh, personal items that are placed on the side yard, things like that. So just giving them that extra space, it really helps. JD, with those two questions in relation to Amendment 1, 
Were they related to it? They are. Okay. Is that committee amendment one? Yes, sir. Okay. So I've suggested we have a motion on a package of amendments, but should any commissioner wish to amend that and say something about any individual amendment, they have certainly had the right to do so. So once again, I will seek a motion on this matter. Mr. Chairman. Yes, Commissioner Watts. Regarding uh, ULDC text amendment TXT-2024-02 for the amendments one through seven, as discussed and reviewed by staff, I would uh, like to make a recommendation that we recommend approval. A motion we recommend approval. All right, we have a recommendation of approval from Commissioner Wiles on all seven amendments. Is there a second? Commissioner Bell. Oh, sorry. Okay. All right. All those in favor of the motion by Commissioner Wiles? About the thousand tonight. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Commissioner.